Hey everyone, I am so excited to show you today's video, which is all about how to create your own font and then import it into GoodNotes. The process is super fun and easy, so let's get into it. I was using this app on my iPad, but you can totally do this on a computer if you don't have one and then print out the template. First step is going on the internet and searching up the app called Calligrapher and you'll want to create a free account which is free to do, obviously, and you'll just enter your email and like get the email notification and once you've done that, it's super simple. So you start the app and then you'll want to create a template. They give you all these steps, but I'm just going to give you step by step on how I do it. You'll want to click English. If you speak English, of course, if you're German, click German. So you can also add different numbers and like punctuation to your font. Once you add the punctuation, it'll say you have too many words because you can only have 75 characters in the free version unless you want to pay for the paid version. All you have to do is delete four characters if you want that. But for the purpose of today's video, I only did the English without any numbers just to show you guys how it works. You next press download template and you can choose two formats in a PDF or a PNG. So you can rename it, but select characters as backgrounds because it's just life saving and it helps you write a much neater and easier font. Once you have the PDF, you can open it in your favorite app, like note taking, whatever you want. And if you're planning on printing this out because you don't don't have an iPad, that's all fine. Just choose the PDF and then print it out with your printer. So I'm just going to open it in GoodNotes because that's what it accepts, PDFs, and then look for it in your files. It'll probably be there somewhere. And then you're going to want to probably zoom in because the characters are a bit smaller. Choose like a thickness you want and then write on top of it. This is why we have the guidelines because it shows you where the letters should be. If you don't have like a guideline, it gets hard and you don't have to follow it either. You can just do your own handwriting. I just think the guidelines help you know where the letters are. However, if you would like to do this in Procreate, which I'm going to do because honestly, it's so much easier to write with in Procreate and get like the nice shaped letters, you'll want to choose the PNG. And once you've done that, you just want to open Open it in Procreate and then you can write on top of it. So I just have like this monoline pen and make sure you have Streamline up all the way so you can get a smooth font and then I just traced it like exactly. Like I said earlier, you don't have to copy exactly where it is if you have like a different handwriting and you don't want it to be so straight and like even like a computer font, but just in that area so you know where the letter goes, which is honestly the hardest part because when I used to do this like a few years ago, I didn't use the guidelines and my letters were all over the place and they were uneven and the spacing was just really off. So make sure to use the guidelines. And honestly, I'm just gonna go trace it. I didn't trace it exactly for some words, but most of them, I just kept it on point and you do this for the entire alphabet. I recommend you choose a pen thickness that is like similar to what I have here because if it's too thin, your font is just gonna be like a stick and it's not very nice. But you know what, this is your font. You guys can do whatever you really want. So here is the final alphabet. I didn't stick to some of the guides. As you can see, like my J, I didn't like how they had it. It was like weird. And then you'll want to export it probably as a PNG as the file came. And then you'll want to go into my fonts, click upload template, and then upload your photo or file. Doesn't really matter if you have two files because you did a font with more characters. You can add two if you need. Also click automatically clean templates because you want like a cleaner font and it's just going to make everything look a bit nicer and there is your font and add characters to it. And then you can also edit font details like word spacing, all that stuff. And also if you let's say didn't use the guides as I told you to and like 
the spacing is all off. You can adjust the baseline, which is just like moving the characters up and down, but that's why you use the character as the guide so you know where the letter is and your font is nice and even. So next, you'll want to just name it. I'm going to call it Emily's YouTube font because I already have a font called Emily's font and it's just going to get all messed up. Yeah, like don't name your font Ariel or something like that. And then choose the TTF file. Really don't know what it is the difference between those two, but it's just easier. It's really easy to import into Procreate as you just open up the app and then you can just start typing with your font. But in like GoodNotes and Notability, you're gonna have to do like an extra step, which I'll be getting into next. So I looked for my font. I honestly had issues finding it, but then I eventually found it a bit later. Yeah, it was like right beside it. Anyway, so there is my font and it looks really nice and cool and it's nice and clean. But let's say you want to import it into GoodNotes or Notability. Just go into the App Store and you gotta go to this app called iFont and download it. It's like totally safe, totally legit. And once you do that, you'll want to open the app. I already have a bunch of fonts downloaded right here, but to insert your own, you'll want to go into your files and then press open or share and click on the iFont app. You can also do it from iFont, but I think this way is just much better. And then click on the app and press install right there. And then press allow press close and it'll give you some instructions on how to do it if you're not so sure or you get lost but I'm just gonna show you how to do it right here it is so simple first go into settings click on general click on profiles right here and then I have a bunch of fonts here but it'll show up here as the downloaded profile click install and then if you have a password you'll need to insert that but I don't have a password and your font is downloaded and now you can use it in your favorite note taking app i don't know like OneNotes, GoodNotes, Notability, anything that has like the apple fonts that are all the default and just look for it and you can write like hello like anything you want really it's your own font you can type with it on GoodNotes if you have like a keyboard that goes along with your ipad or a bluetooth one anything really and then you can also resize it because like it's a bit too large. I have my own iPad keyboard case which is the Logitech Slim Folio and it's honestly just a better alternative than the Apple Magic Keyboard because it comes with a case unlike the Magic Keyboard which honestly doesn't. So if you drop your iPad, I mean game over. So once you connect that or if you just have like a standalone Bluetooth keyboard that also works but this one is really good because it automatically connects and then you can go type away. So the font I chose, I didn't have any punctuation so it was kind of difficult to like type notes with this so make sure you choose to have like a bullet point or like all that stuff because then you'll have many issues typing and also what I recommend you do is you'll probably want to adjust line spacing because it'll just be all off when you suddenly type so here I'm just like trying to find the sweet spot where all the words line up on the grid lines and then you can save it as default so every time you type it'll have this font saved on your GoodNotes app Anyway, so here is just like what my font would look like theoretically if I typed up an entire document on GoodNotes, which is pretty cool. And I would also like to show you a little bonus hack before we end the video. What you can do with your font is if you want to improve your handwriting, you can always create your own handwriting practice sheet with the font you created and then just trace over it. And you can also do calligraphy. That's what I have done in my Etsy shop. If you're wondering how I make them, I just make my own font. So anyways, that is the end of the video. I hope you honestly learned something that was kind of useful or like a fun little thing you could probably try in the future. I hope to see you for the next video and bye bye